All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at VeChain here and as we can see, looking like it has pretty much cleanly broken out of that little resistance it was stuck under for a little while here. You can see this descending wedge in the local area of this chart on the daily time frame you can see happening here. Ever since we came down, lost that obviously that big low of that long ranging motion that we did see. You got your breakdown, back test, continuation to the downside in a smaller wedge here. We come, you know, we got the the high and the low of the wedge being formed. We come down, test the low and the high, the low. You can see the price coiling up here like this with decreasing volume as well over the holiday period. And then we've obviously got a little bit of a renaissance here where we've broken out of the wedge and essentially had a little bit of upside, haven't we? You can see this happened last time though and we went sideways and went down further. So we could easily just break out here, go sideways and then continue to the downside even more. But in my opinion, it's probably more likely that we're going to see a bounce to the upside, a retest of this previous level of support as resistance, and then continuation to the downside. And if that is the case, I'll be looking to put in a short something like this, just because we are in a very steep downtrend right now, aren't we, for VeChain? And I do think we're just going to continue to the downside for the foreseeable future until we're looking to find some very key support, aren't we? Obviously, we've got this big area of structure here where we could see a bounce at any time, really. But I do think... We're heading down towards some of these areas down here, aren't we? This key level at one cent, I think, is going to play a part over the next few weeks. So, next few weeks and months as the bear market continues. I do think we are just going to keep heading down. You can see we've been making lower lows and lower highs with no real respite. Obviously, we did start to chop sideways here. I thought maybe that we would see, you know, maybe a little bit of a move to the upside before continuation. But... Looking like we've come down, broke down, and continued here, looking for the next level of support. And until we find that for VeChain, we're probably going to continue this trend to the downside like this, where we basically come up, bounce into this area here, and then continue down like this till we find a key level of support. So that would be our analysis for today, guys. Probably looking for a little bit of a move to the upside, followed by a continuation to the downside. But at any point, we could probably see you know another rollover as the price does continue to the downside. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching indeed. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.